boys and girls, I'm Hazel Chu, the 352nd Lord Mayor of Dublin, and today I'll be reading A Dublin Fairy Tale by Nicola Colton. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Fiona, who lived in Dublin with her mom. Granny is sick, said mom. She needs her special witch's brew to make her feel better. Will you go to the witch's market on Moore Street and buy the things she needs to make it? Then you can take them to Granny's house. Take this map and follow the path I've drawn on it, Mam said. Don't get delayed along the way. If anyone tries to talk to you, just tell them that you're in a hurry. So this is the map. Fiona put on her favorite red raincoat and set off through the trees of St. Stephen's Green Forest. Then suddenly, Oh! Two of the trees weren't trees at all, but the legs of a giant. Fiona was very afraid, but said in her bravest voice, I can't stop, I'm in a hurry. The giant looked at her sadly and pointed to his foot. I am so sorry, I startled you, but I seem to be caught in a thorn bush. Well, maybe I can stop for a minute, Fiona said as she freed her, his foot. Oh, thank you, said the giant. And Fiona continued on her way past Trinity College of Sorcery. This is Trinity College of Sorcery. She had just crossed the Haberney Bridge when suddenly Fiona was very afraid. Grrr. But in her bravest voice, she said, I can't stop, Mr. Troll. I'm in a hurry. I am so sorry to startle you, but I was just clearing my throat. It's very, very sore. Well, maybe I can stop for a minute, Fiona said, and handed him a cough drop from, a from his, her pocket. Oh, thank you, said the troll. That feels much better. And Fiona continued on her way. She had just reached the spire when suddenly, ah! Fiona was very afraid, but said in her bravest voice, I can't stop, I'm in a hurry. I'm so sorry if I startled you, said the dragon, but there's a pigeon beside you and I'm terribly frightened of them. Well, maybe you can stop for a minute, Fiona said, and chased the pigeon away. Oh, thank you, said the dragon, and Fiona continued on her way. Fiona reached the market and was amazed at all the things for sale. She bought everything she needed, but suddenly... <gasps> A wolf on a bike took her bag. Help! Luckily, Fiona's new friends came to the rescue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, said the wolf. I just wanted some of your nice smelling cake. Well, you could have asked, Fiona said. Come with me to Granny's and you can all have a slice. So she brought all her friends, the giant, the troll, and the dragon all back to the Granny's house. Knock, knock, knock. Granny was delighted to see Fiona and welcome her new friends. She made a pot of witch's brew for everyone and they all had a slice of cake. The end. <laughs>